What's going on everybody? It's your boy Teflon John coming to you courtesy of I Am Teflon John and today's video is titled Don't Let Your Past Affect Your Future. Now a lot of us have been fortunate enough, and I know you're going to argue with me when I say this, fortunate enough to go through misfortune in bad times. The reason I say fortunate enough because that's a great learning lesson. It may have hurt but it also helped you because now you've gained experience, you've gained wisdom. But what happens is a lot of us let that situation get us down and now it affects us. Um, you have people that have been through stuff where they've been mistreated, they've been talked down, they've been in a bad relationship, now they wanna be by themselves. I don't need a man, I don't need a woman. I don't know about that. Um, but what happens is you let their past affect your present and now it affects every relationship that you're gonna um, try to start. Some people are by themselves, right? Or some people find themselves self-sabotaging relationships because they are so afraid of the past repeating. You see what I'm saying? You have some women out here that's been mistreated by guys, that have been dogged out, right? And they meet Mr. Right, but they treat him like Mr. Wrong. They're treating him like the guy because they haven't let go of the baggage. Imagine if you needed to come by my house and stay for about two weeks, right? I'm like, yeah, you can come in and crash. You know, I'm expecting you to have a gym bag. Some of you will come with a U-Haul of baggage. You know what I'm saying? So imagine when you meet somebody, your emotional baggage are physical bags. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You don't want to really deal with somebody that's gonna have all that baggage because you're gonna have to carry it. You see what I'm saying? And that emotional baggage becomes your emotional baggage because you have to deal with it. So do not let your past kill your future. Your future looks bright. Your past is the past. It's almost like when you deal with something, right? And you haven't dealt with it. You see what I'm saying? Imagine having a wound, but you don't address it. You don't clean it up. You know what I'm saying? You don't wipe blood off. You don't give it time to heal. Some of us are still hurting. Some of these wounds are still open and they're infected and they're affecting the rest of us. You see what I'm saying? Um, imagine, uh, I'm not sure the terminology, but when a, when a nuclear bomb is, is let off in a certain area, right? Even after the bomb has been let off in years down, you really can't go into that site because I guess the nuclear, uh, whatever, in the air, you know, it, it'll still affect you. It's almost like a bomb site. Um, some of us, these, these situations and these topics are so sensitive and we shut out and we shut out people and we shut out opportunities because one bad thing, we have to seek help. We have to seek um, guidance. Um, then a lot of times that leads to depression and suicide. A lot of young people today are killing themselves because they're so depressed from going through stuff and not really getting help and not really seeking guidance. So the way that they deal with it, they internalize it. And when they internalize it, it just eats them up. It's like cancer. It's like all these thoughts that are depressing, get nothing. They're never gonna do this, it's too hard. You can, and, that, and the way out, they take the easy route out and they kill themselves. You see what I'm saying? You have a purpose for your life, right? Because you had a bad past, the enemy tried to destroy you then. Let that be your life. If you went through something bad and you're not sharing it with other people, you're being selfish, and you will never have contentment with going, with going through what you went through. A lot of times when we share our story, or we share our testimony, right, and it helps somebody else, you will feel good. Oh, I went through that for a reason. I was able to help so-and-so. I was able to bring so-and-so out the darkness. Share your story. Get help. Talk to someone. But whatever you do, do not let your past affect your future. Please, please, please do not let your past affect your future. Get help. Talk to someone. If you're depressed, please reach out. Talk to someone. I'm going to end that video with this. I'm going to say it one more time. Please do not let your past affect your future. Now, I would appreciate it if you guys can click like. If I can get at least three likes on this video, that'll help me share this, uh, this, this wonderful, helpful information with other people and please subscribe to this to this channel if you would like more videos more motivation and inspiration and as I always say one love be blessed